coming to the second bit which is 4s square minus 4s plus 1. So let p of s be a polynomial which is equal to 4s square minus 4s plus 1. So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial p of s, we need to factorize the given polynomial. So 4s square minus 4s plus 1 can be written as 4s square minus 2s minus 2s plus 1. This is equal to 2s times of 2s minus 1 minus 1 times of 2s minus 1. So we can take 2s minus 1 as common, we will be getting 2s minus 1 times of 2s minus 1. So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial, we need to equate the polynomial to 0. We will be getting 2s minus 1 times of 2s minus 1 is equal to 0. So we can write 2s minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2s minus 1 is equal to 0. Transposing minus 1 to right hand side, we will be getting 2s is equal to 1 and in the similar manner, here also we will be getting 2s is equal to 1. Therefore, s is equal to 1 by 2 and s is equal to 1 by 2. The zeros of the polynomial are 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. So, sum of the zeros is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1. So 1 can be written as minus of minus 4 divided by 4. This is equal to minus of minus 4 is nothing but the coefficient of s. And 4 is the coefficient of s square. Therefore we can say that the sum of the zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of s divided by coefficient of s square. So now product of the zeros is equal to one by two times of one by two, which is one by four. So one is nothing but the constant term. And 4 is nothing but the coefficient of s square. So we can say that the product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by the coefficient of s square. Now coming to the third bit which is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x. So let p of x be a polynomial which is equal to 6x square minus 7x minus 3. This is by rearranging the given polynomial. So in order to find the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial, we need to factorize the polynomial. So p of x is equal to 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. So this is by splitting of the given polynomial which is 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. So now we can take 3x as a common 3x times of 2x minus 3 and here we can take 1 as common this is 1 times of 2x minus 3 this becomes 3x plus 1 times of 2x minus 3 in order to find the zeros of the polynomial we need to equate p of x to 0 we will be getting 3x plus 1 times of 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore 3x plus 1 is 0 and 2x minus 3 is also equal to 0. So transposing plus 1 to right hand side we will be getting 3x is equal to minus 1 and here transposing minus 3 to right hand side we will be getting 2x is equal to 3. 
therefore x is equal to minus 1 by 3 and x is equal to 3 by 2 therefore the zeros of the given polynomial are minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2 now the sum of the zeros is equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 2 so the LCM can be taken as 6 and this is equal to 2 times of minus 1 plus 3 times of 3 so minus 2 plus 9 divided by 6 which is nothing but 7 by 6 now sum of the zeros is equal to 7 by 6 so this is written as minus of minus 7 divided by 6 we observe minus 7 is the coefficient of x so minus of coefficient of x and 6 is the coefficient of x square so this is nothing but coefficient of x square therefore the sum of the zeros is nothing but minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square now the product of zeros is equal to minus 1 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 2 so 3 and 3 can be cancelled and we will be getting product of the zeros as minus 1 by 2 now minus 1 by 2 can be written as minus 3 divided by 6 here if we observe we can say that minus 3 is the constant term divided by 6 is nothing but the coefficient of x square so the relation is product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square 